Hi, this is Mick Elliott from Electronic Specifier and uh, I'm at European uh, Microwave Week on the stand of uh, Sonnet uh, Software. Uh, I'm with Dr. Brian uh, Rautio, who is the Vice President of Operations for uh, Sonnet Software. First of all, Brian, can you just give us some background on Sonnet Software, where the company started and what its initial products uh, are? Sure. So uh, Sonnet, we're an EM simulator. Uh, we're actually one of the first EM simulators on the market in the 1980s. Um, and our founder was designing gallium arsenide filters for satellites. And there was this really long, drawn-out process where you design something, you hope it works. If it doesn't, then you have to do another tape out. It takes a long time. It's really expensive. And he said, I don't think it needs to be this way. There ought to be a way where we can predict uh, the outcome of a design. And so he uh, enrolled at Syracuse University, so we're upstate New York in Syracuse, um, and studied how to model electromagnetics. Um, and at the time, uh, this was sort of controversial because uh, you need a lot of computational power, and in the 1980s we didn't have a lot of computational power. He wasn't worried about that so much. Um, did the research, found a way to make a, uh, a simulator uh, to determine the electromagnetic properties of a circuit before it's been produced. And so that was a, a dissertation effort. Eventually he commercialized it um, into Sonnet. And so we've been running now for over 30 years uh, selling uh, the world's most accurate electromagnetic simulator. Okay, so it started then how has the product developed over the years? What, what, what are, uh, I know we can, we're working up to version 18, which you've, uh, which you've introduced at this show, but can you just give us a little bit of in-between where the developments sure. were and then how we came to version 18? Sure. So um, it's always been focused on the designs, the ability to design and, and you know, produce things. Um, and so there's kind of two components to that. I would say one is just kind of keeping up with research. Um, and shows like this are great for that. You can see all the papers. You can see where things are going. Um, and so we try to say, okay, you know, this is a type of feature, for example, the roughness in the metal on a PCB. You know, this was something that about 15 years ago became problematic. The roughness started to contribute electrically. And so we devised, uh, we worked with the PCB vendors to devise a new model for rough metal. Uh, more recently, what we found is that in uh, most semiconductor stack ups, metallization ends up being very thick. Um, you end up with all kinds of fields in, in between conductors. It's difficult to model. Um, so that's what we have in version 18 is this true volume subsections. And the idea is that we can uh, have, you know, volumetric effects of our current, um, even in the scope of a, a semiconductor or a PCB. Um, so, so there's a lot of, uh, um, you know, trying to see where the industry is going. But then there's also a lot of customer feedback. You know, if, if we've got customers that have been customers for 30 years, we, we start to know them well. Um, say, hey, you know, it'd be really great if we could model such and such a feature. And we'll look at that. And sometimes, unfortunately, the answer is no. You know, the mathematics are great, but there are limitations to what we can do. Uh, we, you know, computational power and such. Other times the answer is, uh, sure, yeah, we can do that. And, um, you know, so we'll take requests and they'll end up in, in features. So, you know, with 18 versions, we've, we've had a lot of both of those, just kind of research projects that have panned out that we've done and customer requests that we've built into the software. Okay, well, who would be a typical customer for uh, Sonnet Software? Anything uh, involving high frequency, really. So if you talk about like uh, radar applications, that would be a huge one. If you talk about wireless communications, um, of course, these days, uh, uh, 5G handsets is a huge, uh, huge market for us. Um, there's a lot of uh, defense applications as well. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really widespread uh, in terms of the types of customers that we'll have. You know, they'll even be hobbyists designing ham radio filters. Um, but it's also very specific in what they want to do with it. You know, we, we're focusing on EM simulation specifically. Um, you know, by, by not focusing on other things, we can do a very good job with that. Um, so a anyone that has a need for EM simulation, um, we can, uh, uh, you know, provide uh, that need. Okay. And what do I do? Do I pay a, a license fee to you uh, to, to access the software? Right, so it's a, it's a commercial software package off the shelf. Um, you can buy it uh, uh, outright, you can buy it one month at a time, you can buy it one year at a time. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility there. Um, you can you know upgrade as you go along. Uh, the analogy I like is, uh, is with cars, I'm a big car guy. 
Um, you know, if you buy a car, maybe you get the sunroof, maybe you get the leather seats, there's all these features. It's the same way with software, but the nice thing about software is we don't have to run a factory assembly line in queue production schedules, and so we can be really flexible with how you own it, we can be really flexible with the features, you can upgrade as you go, things like that. Okay, and you give customers training support or whatever? Yeah, so we, uh, there's, there's a number of ways you can do it. Uh, we're, we're involved in a lot of universities, so we're built into a lot of curriculum. So um, just like someone might learn um, you know, any other CAD tool, they might learn Sonnet as part of uh, their electrical engineering degree. Uh, personally, I'll, I'll travel around the world and, and lecture on Sonnet. Um, you know, my next trip is, I believe, going to be uh, Istanbul, um, and, and we'll just kind of fill up a, a computer lab with copies of Sonnet and students and take a couple hours and, and learn the software. Um, we also have a free version, Sonnet Lite, which you can download from our website, sonnetsoftware.com. Um, and so a lot of people will use that and just kind of learn at their own pace. Uh, you don't have to make the financial commitment to learn the software. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of people that are, are just kind of self-starters and, you know, won't even read the manual. They'll just start drawing stuff in Sonnet and, and simulating, and, and we love to see it. <laughs> Dr. Brian Ratio of uh, Sonic Software, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Okay.